Leo, welcome to your February 2017 Taroscope. And for more insights, make sure to check for your moon sign and your rising sign as well. And I first want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. Alright, and for the main focus, you got the Ten of Swords and this vacation card here. And this month... I feel like you're not putting up with certain things anymore. Um, yeah, you've been backstabbed. Something has not been fair to you, but this is a brand new day for you. This is done over with. This is... This ain't worth re-looking over, okay? It happened. Now it's time to move on. But yeah, I definitely feel like, yeah, you've been backstabbed. Somebody was not your friend, okay? Um, I just feel like, just in general for all of you, though, it's just like an unfair situation here. Um, but I just feel like it's best not to dwell in that and to just move forward. That's, that's done with, okay? A bright new chapter awaits you. Okay, and this vacation card, yeah, you need a vacation. <laughs> you have been, I feel like you've been working really hard towards something, been thinking really hard. I almost just feel like you need a mental break here. You need to decompress. All right, um, and maybe you can just have a staycation, <laughs> you know, just... I, I just feel like it would be to your benefit to just, you know, if you can take some time out, you know, maybe take a little break from work if you can. Um, I just feel like it would be good for you to take some time out for you and to really just recharge your batteries and to really reevaluate things and to see what direction you want to go from here. Um you, you need to come up with a new game plan, Leo, and you can do it. You have some good ideas. You have some good ideas just waiting to be discovered here. Um, and I'm noticing, like, this looks like butterfly wings here. There's a transformation for you this month. Um, this is like, I just get this feeling, it's like the phoenix that rises from the ashes here. Um... Yeah, you are overcoming the obstacles, and you're soaring. You're flying now. <laughs> All right. You know, I just feel like there's this good transformation for you, and you've learned a lot. You've learned a lot from the challenges, from the disappointments, and now you're ready to soar. You're ready to fly. You're, you're ready for this new chapter. And, and yeah, I just feel like you're not putting up with certain things anymore. You're really standing your ground. Yeah, I really feel like you're standing your ground this month. Alright. You're just not dealing with that no more. You're not dealing with that issue no more. You're like, that's done over with. Alright. And for work, you got the Emperor. And for money, you got the Hero Fit. Okay, for money... You got the keys to success. You do. You have you have the answers within you. You know how to make money. You do, Leo. Trust your intuition. You got some good business sense here. And with work with the emperor. Yeah, I, I just feel like you have the power to accomplish your goals. Believe in yourself. Have confidence. And Leo. You're the most confident out of all of us out of the Zodiac, so really play that up. And play up your charm, too. You got lots of charm. That's going to help you. All right. Play up your assets. You know, play it up. <laughs> um, some of you may also be getting some sort of good guidance in regards to money as well. Um, or you may have some sort of mentor at work as well. Um, 
you know, and the father figure may help you too in regards to work or money. Um, and, and also I, I just get the sense that this is a lot of confidence coming from you. Some of you may be your own boss or maybe wanting to become your own boss. Um, but just in general, just, I just feel like there's a lot of confidence here. I feel like you're ready to move forward. Um, and, and yeah, it's just so important for you to believe in yourself. All right. And for love, you got the four of pentacles. All right. It's important for you to really open up to the people around you. Um, this is time for you to really... Embrace your inner hippie, <laughs> Leo. Um, you know, don't be afraid to discuss your feelings. To say how you truly feel. Don't hold back. You never know. That person may have the same feelings for you, too. So, don't be afraid to ask somebody out. Or if somebody asks you out. You know, don't be afraid to just get to know that person and just to see where the relationship will take you. And if you're already in a relationship, yeah, really discuss your feelings this month. This is a time to really, once again, bring out that inner hippie in you. <laughs> you know, really talk about things. You know, talk about your feelings. All right. And for your obstacle... You got the Page of Pentacles, and for what's going right for you, you got the King of Wands. I mean, yeah, Wands. Well, they caught rods in this deck. Um, all right. Well, anyways, for the challenge, I do feel like there, there's been some sort of immaturity. I almost want to say you were dealing kind of with a know-it-all, like. I don't know, you know, somebody that was like a know-it-all, some immaturity. But I feel like you're, you're like, okay, I'm boss here. <laughs> I know it's right for me, and I don't need to take your advice. Uh, <laughs> I just feel like you actually do have more knowledge. Like, this king here is uh got more experience in this page here. He knows a little bit more. Okay, he knows a little bit more than this page here. Um, he's got more experience. Um, and so, yeah, just 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 brush it off, okay? If somebody's being a know-it-all to you this month, and they're trying to tell you what to do, and they think they know all the answers, then... I just get this sense of arrogance when I look at this picture right here. There's somebody around you who's like, yeah, I know it. <laughs> but they really don't have a clue, okay? They... I feel like you have more knowledge, actually, in <laughs> something here. And it's time for you to take back your power this month. Um, yeah, just, you know, stand your ground. Um, you know, just be assertive. Um, you know, you don't have to take it. I mean, don't be too aggressive, but don't be passive either. Just be assertive and stand your ground and, just, you know, do what you want to do. Okay? I feel like you know the answers here. You know, it's time for you to, you know, direct things how you want them to go. You know, you're the one in the driver's seat in your own life, and you don't need <laughs> this person's advice. Okay? Say thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> All right. Um, and yeah, and I feel like you are, like, um, I feel like you're open to experiencing new things and, like, trying new things as well. Um, yeah, you're really open to, like, learning more as well. And I feel like it is important for you to be, like, we're never done learning, really. You know, just be open to... Learning more, studying more, doing more. You know, don't limit yourself. 
I feel like it's important for you to really broaden your horizons here. Um, and yeah, and don't be afraid to be spontaneous, too, and to take a chance. And, you know, maybe visit that town you've always wanted to visit. You know, I just feel like you're wanting to experience things this month. You know, you're wanting to live it. You know, you don't want to talk. Just You don't want it to be all talk. You want to walk. <laughs> you know, you want to do it. You know, I just feel like you're wanting to walk your talk and you're wanting to live it. You're wanting to experience things. You know, it's like I just got to explain you're tired of dreaming about doing it. You're like, okay, I want to do it now. I want to try it. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll have a wonderful month, Leo. And if you would like a personal reading, feel free to book a private reading with me. And you can do so by emailing me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Alright, we'll have a wonderful month, Leo. Much love and many blessings to you all.